Hi, I'm Kevin McBride. I'm a senior designer and also a fine artist. I've been drawing ever since you know, I can remember. When I was late in high school, I discovered I had a neurological condition called synesthesia, which is a brain condition that allows your senses to mix in a way and certain senses stimulate other senses. It's almost like when you're imagining a meal that you really want to have and your mouth starts to water just thinking about it. That's kind of what synesthesia is on a day-to-day -day basis. A big source of inspiration for me is when I listen to music. I will literally have songs that are, this is a blue song. This song tastes like oranges and it's always just kind of like a painting already in my head. So I like to kind of get lost in music and let that work its way into my artwork. I specialize in expressionism. A lot of my artwork I like to do too is gesture artwork um, and figure drawing in black and white charcoal. I like to just capture as much human emotion as I can within their gestures and within their movements. I like to work on artwork a lot that's black and white to kind of almost take a break from the synesthesia colors in my head. And uh, I like to create artwork that looks like artwork and not too photorealistic. A lot of organic shapes and jagged edges and kind of controlled chaos. Very different from my day job as a senior designer. Um, I do mostly digital work at Digitas, so there's a big like uh, analytical quality to the work I do and a lot of research, but it's always important to have that creative energy to bring to each project, to always try to, try to be disruptive and see what you can get away with that uh, will be new and out there in the world, especially in the conceptual phase of a project. Make sure that the end product is always going to be just a little bit different from what people are used to seeing in a good way. I've been doing a series of coffee paintings. I titled it Job Adelphia, which is kind of corny, but I will literally brew a pot of coffee and use that like watercolor painting. It's a little bit more of a challenge because there's no tonal differences within the coffee. It's all the same color and all the same tones. I have to utilize the drops a little bit more carefully. I like to have a lot of open edges and kind of crazy splashes, but then always a focal point that has some elegance to it. Because of my synesthesia, there's always just a surplus of ideas going on in your head. And once I discovered that, it opened up a whole new world of exploring that and translating that into my artwork, which is the most like intuitive form of freedom and creativity for me.